Hi everybody. Happy Easter. Um, I'm just, it's that time of week again where I'm looking through what happened this week and looking through all my different vlog footage and whatnot. And oh, I know I have some stuff on my other camera and then I switched back to using my iPhone because I always have my iPhone with me and it's just, it's so easy to just pick it up and yeah. Anyway, <sighs> actually I'll be RB. Okay, I'm ready now. I had to get that other footage from my camera put in. Um, so I'm just starting to go through to see what I what my week was like, and I really enjoy doing this because it's like I get to kind of look back and reflect. And it was a really good week. Um, update on <laughs> pop date on Junie. Uh, she's doing pretty good. Uh, a few more days to go, and then I don't know. We'll have to assess where she's at healing wise with her leg. Because um, I don't want to take the cone off too soon. We, you'll see, we tried something different with her this week. You'll see that in the vlog um, at some point. Um, maybe I'll put it in right now, but yeah, um, she was able, she looked so cute and so pissed off <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, pretty girl. Yeah, yeah. June. June. June, come here. Junie! So anyway, Monday I actually <laughs> showed you my outfit that day and the rest of the week I just kind of like wore the clothes. <laughs> All right, outfit of the day. You probably saw this in my haul if you saw my haul if you didn't see my haul go check out my haul um i have on this camo shirt from torrid leggings from torrid shoes from torrid it's all from torrid june's trying to push past me with her cone <laughs> all right that's that i didn't do a good job of like showing you what was what um but yeah so monday okay so i see i have a little unboxing here um <laughs> um i also got a my fabletics order in and so i have a couple of fabletics outfits to show you the one is so cute it's such a bright color it's you know it's a workout outfit and I love the color of the pants. And then I got like a, just a loungewear type outfit and it's super comfy. The only thing I don't love is that it stretches out. <sighs> like the top stretches out. So I'm getting some major side boobage, but I'm just gonna wear it at home. So I guess it's okay. Um, then also on Monday, I went to the first, is this, is this, it? yeah, it is. This is a shot put. Okay. So last Monday track season started again, which is a really big deal in Iowa because we didn't get to have track last year because of COVID. So we're having it this year. Um, you know. I think we're getting too lax, myself included. I'm guilty as well. Uh, I am, however, fully vaccinated. Um, but yeah, I think people are just tired of it. And there's a lot of people here not wearing masks. Hopefully we don't have another surge like we did 
it got really bad this past November and schools had to shut down and whatnot. Um, oh, I did a little clip here. So anyway, yeah, tr little track meet. Um, I was only there for about an hour and then I had dinner with the girls that night. So we're supposed to go to one restaurant, but it's still not reopened yet from the pandemic on Monday night. So we're supposed to go to Rube's, which is a steak joint and they usually have grill your own burger night on Mondays, but I guess they haven't since COVID, dang COVID. Uh, so we ended up at El Cerrito, which was fine. It was just good to see them. Um, and then <laughs> I think this is before I left the, for the track meet, I had to feed the dogs. And of course, Junie can't eat with her cone on. So I have to hold the bowl. So, you know, there she is eating. She's such a spoiled little princess, but I love her. Oh, I did show you my outfit of the day on Tuesday. Um, this was cute. I got compliments on it. Was this Tuesday or was this Thursday? I can't remember. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, you know what? I can delete that out because I have different footage for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The other thing about the track meet. It was super windy super windy uh so garvin and i actually sent each other little clips of us like we were like getting blown around he was at another track meet in another town uh, but we were get i was like had to study myself multiple times and the wind just kind of honestly gives me a little bit of ptsd because of the derecho that happened in august and so i just I never really liked wind anyway um just something about the sound just is eerie and yeah but yeah it was super windy Monday and now I really don't like wind because because of the derecho um okay let's see what's happening here Oh, okay. This is the thing I was telling you about where we tried something new on Judy. Darwin had ordered a couple of different things per. This is actually not what she started wearing. It's a different cone that like Velcros and so it's a little bit more manageable. But we tried this like pillow donut. I call it the donut. <laughs> she was so hilarious in it. Like, Sleeping, I think, was probably a bit more challenging for her. Oh. She has some peanut butter on her cone, so she's just like continuing to lick at it. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's got this like blue donut on. It's freaking adorable. Um, so Friday, because of Easter, um, schools weren't in session, so. Um, I had a little bit of an, I think my mom and I went like late afternoon to get our nails done. Um, mine had grown up. Mom and I are going to go get our nails done. Right, mom? I only had one really big chip on mine. Did you have any chip? But like they have grown out <laughs> so much. <laughs> A month. We, we pushed to four. Four weeks. Yeah. Then maybe we'll go to Earl May after this. Earl May? Quite a bit. Uh, we waited four weeks, which normally we go every three, but I think we'll try and go every four weeks. And then, um, so we got our nails done and then we had a nice little surprise because Darwin and his dad had gone um, up to look at a tractor. There was a auction that happened yesterday and they had a tractor, a farm mall tractor that uh, my father-in-law, Walter, collects. He has about three tractors and Darwin told him about this one. and. He wanted to go look at it. So they looked at it Friday night and then went up to 
the um, auction Saturday and it went for $18,000 and my father-in-law did not get it. <laughs> um, so he was a little bummed, but it just, it was more than he wanted to spend. Um, so yeah, they were out in the sun all day. Saturday, Darwin's got a little bit of a sunburn. You might see, notice later as the vlog goes on. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we were able to meet up um, for dinner. Um, my mom, my father-in-law, Darwin and I. And so we went to Wayward Social in Marshalltown and it was delish as usual. Um, and it was just nice. Darwin saw his dad three days in a row this week, which we can sometimes end up going long stretches without seeing his parents just because they live an hour and 20 away and it's, you know, we're busy and it's hard, but so it was nice three days in a row for him to see his dad. And then um, I'd gone home, um, we can't, when we got home, I think this was Friday, I watched uh, the final four, it was Arizona and who was it? Absolutely suffocating in that first Who did they play? Oh yeah, UConn. <laughs> Duh. Ari uh, Arizona, you've never been in the Final Four before. Beat UConn. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's an incredible accomplishment. UConn's coach Gino is well known. Um, and they, he always has solid, solid teams. So it was exciting to see that. And then on Saturday, we ended up um, going with a friend to, and her daughter, my friend Heather, you've seen her in the vlogs before, I'm sure, um, and her daughter Carmela. Um, we went to Menards, Heather needed to buy a lawnmower and needed a truck to transport it, so we took my mom's truck and the four of us went shopping at Menards and then went to dinner together. No! <laughs> Uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay, you're all what do you think? You want to take a nap? Yeah. I know what to do. Get my face in here so I can take a nap. Okay. I want something more. Why are you taking a picture of me? I'm videoing. Oh. For my channel. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi today, I'm cute, I'm boo, I'm really, really cute. <laughs> ah! You are really, really cute. I'm cute, I'm long, I'm really, really long. Mm -hmm. What else are you? Bad, bye. <gasps> no, are you brave? Yeah. Say, I'm brave. I'm brave, bye bye. Say, I'm tired. <laughs> are you tired? Yeah. yeah. Say, I am smart. I'm smart. I am good. I'm really, really good. I am loved. I am smart. Right? Yay. I am loved. I heard her say, I am loved. I was going to say, we used to say, I am brave. I am kind. I am loved every night. And I am smart. Sometimes when I remember. It was really, really nice. And um, yeah, oh, Carmela had gotten pretty tired. She'd been running around with her little neighborhood friends all day. And so she like, she, you can see her here like getting ready to take a nap and or like wanting to take a nap and on the cushion, on the patio furniture. Uh, she ended up like getting totally conked out in the cart. Like, Heather set up little pillows in there and it was so cute and like I started swaying the cart and like rocked her to sleep and she took like a power nap and was like G to G the rest of the night. She did great at dinner. Um, so yeah, that was super fun. And, oh yeah, here you can see 
her little card set up here. It's so cute. So cute. Um, and then today, it, Sunday was Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. Um, we went down to Pella to my in-laws. Um, my mom came with us, of course. And um, we did the whole Easter shebang, ham, green bean casserole, um, potato salad, deviled eggs. Uh, Janice, my mother-in-law, surprised me with <laughs> cupcakes from Cranberry Stone and Pella. They're so good. Um, if you're from Iowa and have a if you're from Iowa and have had scratch cupcakes, no shade to scratch because they're good cupcakes, but Cranberry Stone is really good. Um, yeah, so anyway, we uh, so we celebrated Easter and then also celebrated Christmas because we weren't able to get together because of COVID. So we did the whole Christmas thing and Janice always gives me one of those willow tree angels for my tree and then she also, they gave us money and <laughs> the past few years she has found a way to give us money in a very unique way. So she keeps finding these like trap devices that we have to like finagle and figure out how to open. And this is like, you know, it's it's pretty much seven minutes of gold that I'm going to show you here now. Um, finally got both of them open, spoiler alert, but you gotta see, this. you just have to see this because it's, it's so silly and ridiculous, but also like super endearing that she continues to do this every year now. Um, I got mine open. My mom got Darwin's open and she also got some kind of like, I don't know, I don't know, it's like a little thing, but okay, we have celebrated Easter. Now it's time for Christmas because we weren't able to get together during Christmas, so the living room is for Christmas. The kitchen was for Easter. Oh yeah, right here. Side, goes down. Slide the two parts until they separate. Say that again. Hit on the top. Yeah. No, on the on the top there. You can sound like almonds. Okay, that's enough. I think. Slide it. You hit it once and then slide it. Or not. Oh, I heard it.
Well, this is one way to save money. <laughs> hey, she got it. Or not. <laughs> She's not going to do it again. <laughs> She's going to get her money out. <laughs> Savior is starving. Is <laughs> <clears throat> that a little pin like in there? there? It's just like a little. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's almost like you got a draw sort. Like... <laughs> what does it. It moves pretty freely coming up. I think you. Did you break the pen? Is it? Let me see that. Well, you don't break it. No, because when I moved it, it moved real easily. Because yeah. it was shocking. I was like, ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I waxed, I waxed those in so that they would slide easier. <laughs> They turn it upside down or something. <laughs> no try. <laughs> Just like that door out there in my shed, because it doesn't want to open and it doesn't. It, open. It, when I try to close it, I have to get it just exactly aligned so I can shove the latch to the right and then put the padlock back in. Oh. <laughs> and if I don't have it just exactly right, it will not. It will lock. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, almost six. <laughs> Darwin and Allison attempting. Rob the bank. Right. I got mine. Allison got hers. I got that exclamation on video. Darwin is still trying. And he still has another gift open. <laughs> Here, let me, I'll keep working on this. We'll take care of gift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'll stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> He's working so hard. <laughs> supposed to get for Christmas to tell you about your subscription oh. that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we played croquet, which we've done before, and we always really enjoy doing that. And then we had a total Midwestern goodbye where they, you know, if you're from the Midwest, you know, like 
you say your goodbyes in the house, you do all the hugging, and then everybody leaves the house, and then there's like another goodbye process. You get in the car, and then there's like the waving, and yeah. And that, y'all, is pretty much my week. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, it's really fun to kind of go back and, I said this last week, but yeah, it just makes me smile. This week was a good week. Um, yeah, it just really was a good week. Lots of time with family and friends and, um, yeah. All right, y'all. Remember to love yourself, love one another, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.